Good morning YouTube and welcome to today's video. For this video, we're going to be attempting to make and eat leche flan. Leche flan is a very popular dish in the Philippines. It's a dessert, very sweet, very soft, predominantly made of caramel. To make leche flan, I'm definitely gonna need Chloe's help for this one. Although I don't really know where she is right now. Chloe? Chloe? One second. Chloe? Hmm. All right, well, hopefully I can find her. And when I do, we're gonna make and eat leche flan. So, what are we doing first? We're making the caramel first. Sure. It should be 100 grams of sugar, but I'm gonna do 95 sugar and five glucose. The time the caramel takes to cook depends upon how much water you've put in the pan. But if you go medium high, which is what you should do with a good amount of water, you can take 10 to 15. So we've got the pan right here and it's ready for us to just pour the caramel straight into as soon as it's done. Some of the more traditional recipes have you making the caramel straight into the mold, which is called the yanera. Um, I think I'm saying that right. It's like an oval dish sure. that you put straight on the heat and you make the caramel in that. You can see how it's really thick and syrupy. And it's just starting to go like golden. I like to use the silver pan so that you can see the color of the caramel. When you use a dark pan, you can't actually see where you're at. Um. Um, we're gonna separate our 10 eggs from their family and um, <laughs> We're gonna separate the yolk from the white. Yes. So I'm gonna do that now So the recipe said to use 10 ounces of condensed milk So yeah, so now it's fully combined. But just to make sure it's super smooth and nice to go in, because eggs tend to have like chunky bits in them. Right. Um, we're just gonna pour it through the strainer. What are you doing? Um, I'm popping bubbles. Why are you doing that? So that there's no bubbles. <laughs> Boiling some water so that we can have some hot water in the pan and then that can go in so it cooks really gently. I'm also going to seal the top with a bit of foil so it doesn't brown in the oven. Leche flan is in the oven at a temperature of 175 degrees Celsius. Normally it would be 150 though, but our oven runs hot. What? That's totally the wrong way, right? That's not true. <laughs> it's in at 160 instead of 175 because our oven runs hot. And now we're going to wait 35 minutes. 30 to 45. 30 to 45 minutes. And then when it comes out, we're gonna chill it. We're gonna put the leche flan in the fridge. We have a leche flan. It's basically creme caramel, isn't it? It's just, this is like a Filipino interpretation. And uh, it's typically a lot heavier. They use more egg yolk in the Philippines and they always use it like an oven stove to cook it. The recipe said that they bake it. It had baking instructions, yeah. so. I guess all we're missing really is the lanara. Yeah, the lanara. The Tagalog word. Uh, I think so. It's the traditional oval shaped pan. Mm -hmm. Couldn't even get one shipped. Is this the first time having this for you? Yes. The first time for me as well. Why do you need two spoons? Because... 
Yeah. Surely this is a knife and fork job, isn't it? <laughs> Look at it. It's beautiful. I've seen these in shops before and always looked at them quite um, intently. That's the wrong word. I've seen these in shops before and always been quite intrigued because of how accurate they look. Yeah, it's like egg jelly. Let's I do already it. wish the caramel was a bit darker. Could you've just basically cooked it for a little bit longer? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's amazing. Very sweet. Mm -hmm. It's very, very nice. And it's so soft and, and creamy. Oh, it's beautiful. And you know what? Really not that difficult to make. Mm -mm. The caramel was the most challenging part of this, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're just extracting egg yolks from the egg white and doing some whisking, mm -hmm. some mixy mixy. I think the timing on pulling it out of the oven is also important. You don't want to overbake it. This is really good. Okay, I'm, I'm really glad we made this. Chloe was saying earlier, if we like made it and it failed, we could use the remains of like the failed version in Halo Halo. Yeah, hello, hello. Sometimes Sorry. has. Sorry, hello, hello. Well, sometimes has pieces of leche flan in it. Well, that would I've be had great. That before, it's pretty good. Have you? Mm -hmm. In the Philippines. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a picture of me getting very excited about my hello, hello. I think they have it in the place in Covent Garden. Are you going to have that caramel? Pour it on there. Oh, so they have leche flan and halo halo at Covent Garden. Yeah, I think they put halo, leche flan in that halo halo. We'll have to go. Mm -hmm. I want to go sit in a restaurant. I want to sit in a Filipino restaurant, you know? Oh, it's really good. It's like so creamy. Like you just push your tongue through it, you don't chew it. I've been chewing it. Should I not chew it? I just push my tongue through it. Like on the roof of my mouth. Mm. That's very nice, actually. Mm hmm. Mmm. <laughs> That's nice. I like that. Good technique. It feels like really creamy. Yeah. Mmm. You just smush it on the roof of your mouth. Mmm. Smushy, smushy. <laughs> I could have another piece. Smushy, I'll, smushy. I'll put it on this plate. How about that? Okay, thank you, Chloe. It's so good, did I tell you? <laughs> mm, my mouth is just so satisfied. And the great thing is, there's always a little bit of caramel, not that, <laughs> it's like I've experienced this before, but there's, there's usually caramel left over when you have your leche, leche flan. Why did I say leche twice? I was thinking, hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, excuse me while I lick the syrup off the table. I'm pretty sure that tasted a bit like roast chicken. <laughs> we did, we just ate roast chicken. And I got you the corner piece just to mm. see what that difference in texture would be like. You have to be careful with leche flan. It's a bit slippery. Oh, leche flan. What's your favorite part about the leche flan? Mm, okay, probably two favorite parts. Can I have two? Yeah, I mean, there's only really two parts here. But... <laughs> texture and the taste of the caramel, the sweet caramel with the texture. Mm -hmm. It's possibly a, a perfect dessert. I mean, you get that element of squidginess, like you're sitting on a really comfortable sofa. And then you also get the sweetness of the caramel. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I love it. Your forte is not describing food. How would you describe it? Because you're the, you're the mastermind of this operation. I'd describe it as a sweet, creamy custard. Sorry to interrupt. I'm basting my leche flan with the caramel. That's correct, isn't it? It's basting. Basting. No. <laughs> you kidding? Basting. <laughs> like almost a swear word. It's like a creamy, sweet custard mm. and a deliciously sweet, but slightly toasty caramel. Oh, toasty. What would you do differently? Because earlier you said you may have browned the caramel further. Anything yeah. else? Completely untraditional, but put something in that has a little bit of tang, like. Ooh, like calamansi. I mean, we had a little bit of lime juice, but maybe a little bit more, or like a tablespoon of sour cream. It just like balances things out. Is that right? Yeah, makes it less sweet, but it's completely non-traditional. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's happening in France either. No, I don't. <laughs> They're creme caramel, creme de la caramel sour cream. <laughs> maybe they might put some creme fraiche in it. Possibly, I have no idea. But this is great. The final mouthful. <laughs> 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 
How does that feel? Oh, it's very good. Like you could eat another piece? Like I could lick the plate. Well, that was us attempting to make and eat leche flan. I think that was pretty successful. Would you I'd say? say it's pretty successful. I think that's how it's supposed to turn out. So basically, we need to source a Lanara uh, or a Lanera, and we would be pretty much leche flan connoisseurs. Probably yeah. not. <laughs> I'm not sure connoisseurs. No. Wunderbar. <laughs> uh, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was really, 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 really tasty. Well, not the video necessarily, but the leche flam was delicious. I thought you were tasty. that tongue out? <laughs> you thought I was tasty. You can't put that on the camera. Right, let's go again. Why can't you put that on the camera? You can't say I'm tasty and get your tongue out like this. You're like, I thought you were tasty. <laughs> Um, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and comment below. Let us know what you thought. I'm doing that YouTube thing. I don't know what you're doing. You look like you're working comment on it. Comment below. Sure, or on an airplane, like. Nearest exit could be behind you. Indeed. Uh, maybe we'll so I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and comment below. Let us know what you thought of the video. We'd love to hear from you. We'll put the recipe in the comment section. We yeah, should. we'll link to the recipe. For sure. Just in case you want to make it. Let us know below if you have any more suggestions. Suggestions. <laughs> They're always lovely. I'm drunk on leche flan. <laughs> I got leche flan. Flan, flan my grand. I got leche flan.